Hey guys, we are the Naps from House of Harper, and after two years of doing some renovations and decorating, we are finally ready to give you the official grand tour of our home. First things first, let's start with the entry. This is actually one of my favorite rooms in the house because when you have a small space like this, you can really do something fun. So this is where we decided to do the printed wallpaper. It's a print by Faro and Ball and it's still neutral so it flows with the openness of the rest of our house, but I think the pattern just really adds something fun. This is where you can make a big impact to make that first impression. So next, this leads into our dining room. We wanted to have a very formal dining room for our entertaining purposes, but we also live in our whole house and have two young kids, so it was important that we kept it family friendly as well. So we did some fun things to keep it, um, I think, a little more casual. One of them was mix matching our table and chairs. So our table is super formal, very traditional, so we decided to paint the chairs and do kind of a fun stripe zigzag fabric. They're definitely coated to easily clean those spills and hopefully hide any stains that do stick. But the real statement maker here is this piece of art that is by Saba Jada. The Jada sisters actually helped me with most of the house. Not only are they amazing interior designers, but Saba is actually an artist as well. And I think the size, the way it just takes up the whole wall, it really sets the tone for the entire room. So this wallpaper is actually pretty cool too, going along the lines of a family-friendly dining room. This is actually a commercial wallpaper that um, the Jada sisters helped me find. So it's what you see a lot of times in like hotels and really high traffic areas, because you can just wipe the walls clean. It looks like a grass cloth, but it's much more durable. I think we've actually replaced every single light fixture in the house. I love this dining room piece. It's a very like vintage Paris flea market style that is actually from Visual Comfort. And then these lamps are a little more modern with the acrylic, but they still have the gold tones you're seeing in all the mirrors and the light fixtures. What we're walking through right now was actually a wall before, so you couldn't get from the front room into the main living area. So before we moved in, these were like cabinets and we opened them up to bookshelves. And eventually, about a year later, we decided to redo the whole thing. We took out the red brick mantle fireplace, did marble, and then had the custom fireplace rebuilt just for that kind of more modern, fresh look. And the second bookcase you're looking at was actually an entry to the kitchen. It didn't make sense to have two entrances to the kitchen right next to each other. And I'm a huge symmetry person, so it was finally my opportunity to have the matching bookcases on both ends of the fireplace. And it is probably by far my favorite update we've done. So speaking of built-ins, I'm gonna take you to the other side of our living room and show you where we actually covered a built-in. There was um, a bookcase in the back of the room that was off-center and it just was really hard to style around. So since we had all the built-ins done around the fireplace, I actually decided to close this one off to be able to put furniture and art and lights. This is another decision we made that I feel like really modernized our house. This was a wall that we actually took down as well. The living room and the sunroom were two separate rooms. So we opened these up and this is really where the kids play. We keep their toy baskets down here and it's usually not this neat. This is usually like toy zone, kid zone. So we decided to do a dark fabric sofa and a darker rug to really hide all the kids' mess and stains. So this piece is actually from Candelabra. I ordered it online. It was hard to find such a long, narrow piece that we needed for this space. And when I saw this one, I knew it was what we'd been looking for. I love it because I still have the cabinets and drawers to hide all the kids' stuff. We were able to put baskets underneath that they can easily access to get their toys. It looks really chic and modern, but it's actually super functional for the kids as well. So one thing I really wasn't sure to do, I wasn't sure what to do with a lot because of the open concept, it really threw me off. So that's why I worked with the Jada sisters to help me with all the fabrics and the rugs and the curtains. I think I initially asked them to help me with like pillows and recovering my grandmother's chairs and it turned into them really helping me with the whole living space in the house. So if you have an open concept, I did not know this, but they said you should really make your curtains match on both sides of the house. So it really kind of ties everything together. So we went with these neutral curtains with this beautiful trim. So they're here in the sunroom and then they're the same ones you see in the dining room since everything is so open. 
We moved from New York with no furniture, so um, we adopted a lot of stuff from hand-me-downs from my grandparents. These chairs used to be in my grandparents' bedroom. They were red with gold dragonflies, which I always thought were so cool growing up, but didn't really go with my style in the rest of the house. So my love for blue continues, and we reupholstered these chairs, as well as the ones you see over here. So I actually found these on One King's Lane when we first moved into the house. I hadn't done any decorating yet, so I didn't know what, what I was going with. So they were actually a brown wood with white upholstery. And then as the rest of the house started coming together, we realized they needed some life, especially with a white couch. So we did them in this light blue velvet fabric and then um, actually painted the wood in white with the gold details to kind of go with the rest of our furniture. And this is one of my favorite makeover pieces. Okay, so you'll recognize this sofa from New York and the coffee table as well, actually. These were two pieces that have traveled with us back from New York City, but we needed some like really fun personality with the pillows. My taste tends to lend more on the traditional side. So it was really fun working with Sarah and Saba to do like some more fun, like statement pieces. We all fell in love with this fabric and it just, up against the gold, I love how it just ties everything together, but it really like pops and makes a statement. Now for the best part, the heart of every home, the kitchen. Now, if you follow House of Harper, you've probably seen our big kitchen reveal, the project we did with Lowe's, but we've made a few updates since the last time you were here. So the first thing you're probably gonna notice is that we painted the island navy. Now, I thought about doing this when we were in the construction process, and for some reason I chickened out, and I regretted it ever since, so I had them come back and paint the island navy. I know I'm gonna get so many questions on this. The color is actually Hail Navy from Benjamin Moore. And then, because our bar stools were dark wood, up against the Navy Island, I just felt like they weren't popping. So I actually sold those and bought these from Wisteria. I love the brass detail because it goes so well with the rest of our house. And then the white upholstered seats, I know are not ideal. You're thinking who would have white seats in their kitchen, but you can easily just get some umbrella fabric, things wash right off, or you can even put like cover on it. Things you make work when you want something with kids. <laughs> So we got this rustic farmhouse table from Restoration Hardware, and then we went with like a completely opposite style for the chairs to kind of mix things up with these fun, modern acrylic chairs that are actually from Ikea. So a major steal there, and they're so easy just to wipe clean after the kids eat. So our laundry room used to start about right here, and it was kind of our entryway from the garage. But since we decided to have the benefit of a big, open, bright kitchen, we moved our laundry right outside the garage door. But no one wants to feel like they're in their garage when they're doing laundry, so we just made it really cute. So one of the things we loved about this house is actually a three bedroom, two and a half bath. So when you're entertaining, we actually have a little powder room off the kitchen, which is super nice to have so people don't have to go back into the bedrooms. This is another project I did with Lowe's. So you might've seen their before and afters on the blog, but I love the way this little space turned out. All right, so I guess that brings us back to the rest of the kitchen. Um, we also have a new addition since the last video. We just did this custom cut outdoor rug to go around the island. It's amazing because if you drop spaghetti sauce on it, you can literally take it outside and spray it down. This room is definitely where we spend the most time in the house, whether it's entertaining, cooking, or just hanging out as a family. So even though we lived through the renovation for six weeks, it was worth every challenge. And to complete today's tour, we are going to end in my office where all the magic happens. And this room actually has the most recent updates. If you're coming over from Paper City, you'll notice things look a little different. We just completed a project with Ace Hardware where we painted and built these custom built-ins. So I now have actual drawers and filing cabinets and storage space, which was really what this office was lacking. I was always having piles of paperwork and samples that brands send over hidden in the corner, so now I actually have a home for everything. Since the buildings are such a focus when you walk into the room, I partnered with Jada and Jada, who helped me with the rest of the house in here as well. So the art is actually by Saba, 
and then Sarah came over and helped me with all the styling. So we wanted to keep it really fun and feminine since it is a fashion space. We used a lot of books, shoes, handbags, kept it very playful. So some of the other updates that we just completed include lighting. This room was really dark before, so we updated the lighting with this really cool modern fixture that you see in the ceiling. And then we also did the lights in the built-ins themselves, which really helped brighten the room and focus on all the fun stuff we styled in the shelves. This concludes our first official tour of the finished house. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to save the rest of it for the next episode. So until next time.